Hi guys, in this tutorial we'll tell you how to add dating page into your app. The dating page allows users to create profile and connect with other singles, finding somebody's to date, flirt or chat with. Now let's see how to add dating page. Enter business name. Click on next. As per your business name, the all will suggest you some specific categories. If you can't find the appropriate category, click on view more categories. Here you will see all the categories. Choose the one that best suits your business. Once done, click on next. Now select an app design as per your choice. Click on next. Now let's add dating page into the app. Click on view all here and search dating. Click on the page to add it. Here's your dating page name. If you want, you can change it. From here, you can change the page icon. If you want, you can select a solid outline icon or image from our library or upload your own custom icon image from this section. Now let's move to dating section. In dating link field, enter Firebase data URL. Click on the information icon here and follow the tutorial to get the database URL. Copy and paste it into its respective field. Now copy and paste the authorization domain and API key in the respective fields. Next comes payment settings. Here you will see two payment methods, free and in-app purchase. By default, the payment method is set to free. If you want to enable in-app purchase, select that option. Now you need to provide Android and iOS payment credentials. Click on the information icon here and follow the short tutorial to get one-time payment product ID and public key for Android. Copy and paste them into their respective fields. Now click on iOS payment credentials information icon here. Follow the tutorial to get one-time payment product ID for iOS. Copy and paste it in its respective field. Next comes one-time payment field. Here you need to enter the amount that you want to charge from your users. Now select the currency in which you want to accept the payment. Next comes page style and color scheme. From here you can change the page background. If you want you can either select an image solid color from our Y library or upload your own custom background image. Next comes dislike icon. If you want to change the icon image, click on it. Select a specific icon image from our Y library or upload your own custom icon image. Once done, click on save to continue. Now let's move to like icon. If you want to change the icon image, click on it. Select a specific icon from our Y library or upload your own custom icon image. Once done, click on save to continue. Next comes page elements color. If you want, you can change them as per your needs. From here, you can change page elements from font style, page elements font size, and page elements indent. Next comes navigation setting. From here, you can enable or disable navigation button on header. Once done, click on save and continue. That's all for now. Stay tuned for the latest updates. Thanks for watching.